Welcome. Today we're making brine turkey breasts roasted in butter soaked cheesecloth and scallop cheesy potato casserole. I'm Chef Joe, and you're watching Public Savings Cooking School online. To get started with our brine, I have a stock pot on medium heat. We're gonna start by toasting our whole spices. Some coriander seed, cumin seed, fennel seed, celery seed, and some whole cinnamon. We're gonna use four cinnamon sticks. We like to use whole spices because they bring a little bit more flavor than the ground spices. We're toasting them to release those essential oils to again, just to express more flavor, to bring more flavor to our brine and essentially to our turkey. While those toast, I'll slice our lemon for the brine. Once you start smelling those spices, we can go ahead and add our water. This is a half a gallon. Both of our lemons sliced. Our salt. And our sugar. We're using brown sugar to bring some of those nice molasses caramel notes to our turkey. Now that our brine is boiling and our salt and sugar have fully dissolved, we'll go ahead and take this off the heat. Now go get the next gallon and a half of water to start cooling our brine. Now that our brine is fully cooled, we're gonna add our split turkey breast to our brine. Remember, it's a good idea to wash your hands anytime you're handling raw proteins. Now we're gonna cover our brine and let it chill for 12 to 24 hours. Now that our turkey is brined overnight, we're gonna start on our scalloped potatoes. We'll start with some butter. We're gonna let that melt. And then we'll add some diced onions, garlic, let that sweat a little bit. Now some dried herbs. Thyme, basil, chives, and some Greek seasoning, and some whole grain mustard. We're gonna let this slowly sweat while our vegetables soften. Should take about six to eight minutes. While that happens, we're gonna start preparing our potatoes. So we'll peel our potatoes. Now to make sure we get nice, even slices, we're gonna use our mandolin. You do have to respect it and be careful with it, but it gets you an absolutely perfect slice every time. We'll give our vegetables another stir. And now I'm gonna go get the rest of our ingredients to finish the casserole. Now that our vegetables have softened, we're gonna start making a compound root. To do this, we're gonna add some flour and we're gonna keep mixing. That flour is gonna absorb that butter and we're gonna give this about a minute or two just to kind of cook that flour out so we get the thickening properties but we don't taste it later. After a minute, our flour started to cook through. We're gonna come in and add our milk. We're gonna add four cups, half of this container. And we'll let you stir this in to incorporate everything. And now we're gonna add in some cheese. Five ounces of Parmesan. 
another five of Swiss. We're gonna add a half of the package of Cheddar Jack. We're gonna save the other half to sprinkle on top of our potato casserole later. We're gonna give that a nice stir, let our cheese melt. Now we'll add in our potatoes, tossing them to coat them. Just keep stirring while we get our potatoes all coated in that milk and cheese. Now that our cheese is melted, our potatoes are nicely coated, we're going to add them to our casserole dish. Now this will go into the oven at 375 for about 30 minutes. While our potato casserole is in the oven, we're going to start cooking our turkey breasts. Just going to let them drip a little bit. We're gonna pat them dry with some paper towels. We need them nice and dry because we want them to roast. We don't want to steam them. We wanna get some color and some of those great roasted turkey flavors. Now we're gonna wrap them in some butter soaked cheesecloth. This butter is gonna bring obviously a lot of flavor, but also help keep our turkey nice and moist through the first half of our cooking. Just wrap it up like a present. And the same thing with the other breasts. And now they're ready for the oven. So go into that same 375 degree oven. Our potatoes have been in for 30 minutes. So we're gonna top them with the rest of our cheddar jack cheese. Looks like our cheese is good and melted, so we're gonna top our potato casserole with our panko breadcrumbs. Our turkey's been cooking for 35 minutes. Now we're going to take it out, and we're gonna unwrap the cheesecloth. The cheesecloth's already done its job. It's kept our turkey moist. It's provided some great flavor. We're gonna take it off so that our skin can get crispy and we can get a little bit more flavor, that nice roasted flavor. And now it goes back in for another 25 minutes. Now that our potato casserole is looking golden brown and delicious and our turkey has reached an internal temperature of 165, it's time to start carving. I'm gonna clean up a little bit and we'll give this a taste. Wow, this looks delicious. I can't wait to give it a try. Mmm. Turkey is incredibly moist. You can taste that delicious butter. Nice, crispy skin. Excellent. The brine flavors come all the way through. You can taste all those whole spices. Let's try these potatoes. Taste all the cheese. That mustard adds a nice little kick. Nice crunch from the panko breadcrumbs on top. And there you have it. 
a delicious meal that is guaranteed to be your Thanksgiving centerpiece. Click the link below for the full recipe and exact measurements. Subscribe for more Publix Aprons Cooking School online videos and other content from Publix. Enjoy.